Hey guys, this is Golden Crafter 3 here, and today I have a pretty cool uh, elevator with me. Um, so yeah, uh, I made a horse elevator. Here it is right here. Um, you might already even know the concept I use, uh, but if you don't, I'll show you right now. Uh, it works with horses that can only jump one and a half blocks and higher, so I think that's every single horse it'll work with. Um, and here I have a horse that can jump two blocks. I did have a horse that could jump one and a half blocks, but he wandered off somewhere and I couldn't find him again. So, <laughs> sucks for him. Anyways, uh, <coughs> sorry. There we go. Anyways, if I get onto this guy, come in here, you'll see, uh, by the way, my horse is, horse is not taking any damage right now, so it just looks like his head's in there. Well, it is actually in there, but he's not getting suffocation damage. And all I have to do is jump, and I'll just keep us keep going upwards. So I'll just keep on doing that. Maybe I shouldn't have made this big of one. And then here I am at the top, and I'm up at the top now. And then you can do whatever you want up here. Like for me, I like jumping off. Um, so yeah, uh, there's the basic concept with that uh, so let me just show you inside what's happening so on a horse you're on a horse you're three blocks tall okay okay um, so on a horse uh, you're actually sitting on it you're three blocks high so you're basically right here and you walk into it and your head will be at the level of the tripwire so then basically what happens is you'll come up Whoops. Fly. There we go. You'll come up like this, and then you'll be stuck in here. And then you'll jump with your horse onto the next layer. And you can just see the thing going up. So I just jumped. I just, uh, double tap. I think. It's sort of hard to do it with, um, while, like, without a horse. But, uh, yeah, there's that. And also, uh, if you want to jump down from the top into your elevator, you just jump down and you'll land in this water and it actually also works with your horse so if you jump down with your horse and you land in the water uh, the horse will not take any damage uh, so I thought that was pretty cool um, so let me f show you the redstone uh, keep in mind yellow blocks are the blocks that are that you need and pink is optional for like for example less bugs in it and uh, for the water drop, that's not necessarily needed for some people. Um, so, for example, the, this yellow is actually all that you need. If I were to remove this pink here, which you will see later in the tutorial, uh, it's it only takes one repeater and f three redstone for each layer, and also uh, two pistons. And then you'll you also have to r uh, remind or remember this sticky piston here and this regular piston. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty resource friendly and uh, pretty easy to continue upwards. Um, so let's get on to the tutorial and I'll show you thing, show you how to make this thing. Okay, so f first what you want to do is find a or make a two by two hole going all the way up to wherever you want your elevator to go to, and uh, uh, R to whatever floor you want it to go to, um, and then you'll have uh, three high entrance with these two stairs here or it could be uh, upside down half slabs it's just if you have full blocks it fine I found out that sometimes you come up here you take suffocation damage automatically and I don't know it's pretty weird but uh I just put two stairs there and it works fine um, and then for the trip wires you'll have a stair two stairs on the back wall um, every other block so like this and then you'll have your tripwire hook in the in between each of those and it has to be a stair or a half slab because the tripwire hooks for some reason if you have a full block under it it will bug out and do weird stuff um so before we do that uh go ahead and block these two off at the same height as your stairs and come behind your thing and just bake a little pillar like that and then you can put your sticky pistons back here like this and 
Now, you can either have a stair or a half slab, but it has to be one of those two because if you have a horse that can only jump one and a half blocks, then it can actually make it onto that stair there. And uh, also keep in mind, this needs to be a half, uh, not a half slab, a stair. All right, well, it can be a half slab, but it's better to have a stair because whenever it comes out, you actually get trapped in between both these stairs like this, and you can only go in this little section. So it sort of keeps you centered inside the elevator. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm actually going to just do one layer now so it's easier to follow. And uh, so after you get the sticky pistons and the stairs in, go ahead and place your tripwire. Come along back, or come around to the back. Put rest on there. Rest on there. And a repeater on at least two ticks. You can go to three ticks or four ticks. But two ticks is uh, where it's stable enough to... Uh, keep up with your horse and what that'll do is right as you jump two ticks later it will extend these uh, two blocks out for your horse to land on and they'll stay extended until you jump off of it um, so now all we need to do is this stair here and what you want to do is grab a piston a uh, um, non sticky piston and put it there a sticky piston here and make sure this stair faces faces like that so then it'll curve and also whenever it sticks out it'll be like this and not like that or not like this right here and I'll just put a stair there to make it symmetrical um, so yeah that's basically how one layer is and now for the additional layers what I did was put two repeaters on four ticks here so then whenever you jump and then you jump off of it, they'll actually stay extended just in case you uh, fall down because uh, on servers and stuff, it's actually, you you fall down a little bit. Oops. Okay. So now, since that one's done, you basically just keep copying the design until you get all the way up. And it's a pretty repetitive process. Um, what I do is I just usually stack stack them like this, and pretty easy. Not too much redstone, and pretty easy to do. Um, so basically, uh, I can get up this high amount of blocks with that much redstone. Uh, so I just pretend I'm on a horse. I jump up to this layer, come up here. Oh, got the trip bar. Come up here. Okay, well, it's, it's hard to do on whenever you're not on a horse, but um, you can see that it works. So I just drop down. All of them are extended, and I can still add the. Um, I guess you could call it a threshold or something. Uh, but the extra layer, I can still add that easily, just like this. And. Now if I go ahead and jump down, you can see that all of them are triggered. Um, also while you're doing this, don't forget to add these things in because these actually uh, help you stay inside the elevator um, so you won't fall down and it just helps you keep centered so you take less suffocation damage. Um, your player will be taking the suffocation damage, your horse shouldn't, uh, at least it hasn't hasn't uh, taken suff suffocation damage from me. Uh, but you will not die. Uh, you'll just take probably like a half heart or two hearts at the most because uh, you'll probably just get stuck in these blocks right here and then you'll just get pushed out into here. Um, so yeah, uh, it's not that big of a deal to me, uh, but there's not really any way around it. <laughs> uh, so once you have these in, you should be ready to go if you don't like want the extra circuit then I guess you can stop here and all you have to do is just keep adding layers to as high as you want or you could just have a little stop somewhere and your horse can get off like for example here and then just keep it going um, so yeah uh, now I'll get on to whoops I'll get on to the, the water in the floor here um, I'll do that next okay so I'm just going to go ahead and remove this for now. Okay. 
So first off, you, what you want to do is from your ground block here, come down two and place four sticky pistons facing upwards, just like this. And then go ahead and place um, these blocks like so. What this will be is it'll uh, keep the water in place whenever the pistons are released, or whenever the pistons release the water. Just like this. So then you'll get a little shape like this. And then what you want to do is get some water. And it'll actually create an infinite source, but that doesn't matter because all, all that happens is you fall down and then you're in this water for about a second or two and then it gets released back up. So uh, he, there's the bottom part. Now what you want to do is up here, or at the very top, you'll have a downwards facing piston. I'll just go ahead and get pink. You'll have a downwards facing piston and go down uh, towards the bottom of these pistons. And uh, if you're up like uh, like 50 blocks or something, uh, you can just have a little thing like this. I'll actually make it over here. Uh, I guess something like this could work. Uh, Cause all you really need to do is just keep sending the signal down as fast as you can. And this is really all I th thought about. Uh, I don't know. Whoops. You actually need a fast pulse. I just accidentally held down the lever too long. But uh, yeah, I guess you could do something like that. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure there's a video on it somewhere that you can use for downwards redstone or something. Uh, but anyways, uh, on to this. Uh, you'll actually be needing cauldron. And make sure that cauldron is filled with water, like that. And you'll come down, place two, and place an upwards regular piston like that. And after you place this piston here, what you want to do is come here, put a redstone comparator, come up, redstone torch, blocks like that. Three rest on there. A uh, rest on here and a repeater going into this block. Now, after you have that repeater there, uh, we'll go onto these two pistons. I uh, just have two blocks like this, redstone, and another repeater going that way. So then it activates all four. Um, so now what we have is the opening of the water but now we need the closing so what we'll do for that is basically all we have to do is update it or activate or power it is what I meant um, what you'll want to do is come out with two hoppers like this redstone there and repeater there and anything can be in these hoppers it does not matter what it is uh, and once you have that uh, the water will come out and if you fall and land, it'll just come right back up. Um, and that's the bottom circuit, and the extension circuit, and the regular circuit that you need. Um, don't forget, these repeaters here are actually part of the optional circuit, uh, these here. Uh, so you, you don't need those. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not going to actually take this one through with the horse because I don't feel like spawning one up in up here. But anyways, you get the idea, you can expand this and uh, do this little optional thing, which I find it quite cool because then you can have an up and down way. Um, so yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this tutorial is useful for you guys and I hope you're using your survival world on your basis. Uh, anyways, have a good day and I'll see you guys next time.